Leg presses come in a variety of different shapes and sizes, but the general setup for all of them is going to be somewhat similar. And it's going to be somewhat similar to the squat, in that where we set up and what we do with our leg is going to be quite straightforward. We're looking for the middle of the foot to run through the middle of the, hip, uh, the knee towards the middle of the hip. And that really means that if I go close in, I'm, I'm just going to stay tight on that line. And if I go quite wide out, my knee is just going to angle itself out to, again, maintain that line. Some people will find it's a little more comfortable quite close together. Some people a little wider. That will vary based on things like the length of their femur, the amount of ankle mobility they have. There is no hard and fast right or wrong. When we're quite close together, generally speaking, we get more quad work. Close together and lowish down. And the simple reason for that, if I start going through this, is I get quite a lot of knee flexion relative to the amount of hip that I get, depending on the setup so on. If I was to go really high and wide, the amount of knee work that I get is much less than the amount of hip work that I get. So the difference between close together just gives me a little more quad focus because it's more knee dominant. When I go high and wide, it's a little more hip focus. So we're talking glutes and adductor magnus. Though both clearly work both the knee and the hip, so we actually get both things happening. But whichever way I go, and I'm gonna step somewhat in between those two positions for this, if I push this away, leg presses will vary in where you have to hold this one. This is here and I spin that out so I've now got the weight. I'm gonna bring this down on a straight line for my legs as far as I can get before I start to run out of range of movement within my hip joint. What I don't wanna do is come so low with this that I start to tuck off and away from under here, right? This is not a range of movement I've got in my hip joint. To get out of here, I'm gonna to have to use my spine, flatten into there, and then press up from that position, which is not what I want to do. And again, this will vary person to person on the range that they have. But the active range that you can control into is where we wanna to get to. So for me, it's about there, and then I'm gonna press up again from that position. The same thing, if I get Chris to come round and just film from above my head, we're gonna look just at the line of force that my legs are going through within this. So much like when we looked at the leg extension, I want this straight line through the middle of my feet and that to press up and for them not to spin or kind of go anywhere other than in this straight line that is through the middle of the foot. And if I was to then go high and wide, I'd still be looking at that same knee line throughout this particular thing. It would just be out wider, but I would look through, is that still in a straight line through those positions as we are going through the leg press. We can then look at adding things like a band around the back of here to here, so that rather than it just being really difficult in the bottom position and getting gradually easier, which is what tends to happen in a leg press, I can make it difficult through the whole range by using a little bit of accommodating resistance. But that is generally the setup for the leg press. It's not particularly complicated, just make sure you control it, make sure you stay through a range of movement that you can actually control, and then have at it.